Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. I love you guys, I think, and I truly appreciate you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. Love you, thank you, appreciate you. Welcome new subscribers. We're here doing the general reading for Capricorn. This is for the first week of October 2021. Whoo! Capricorn, I've already saged, prayed over the cards, laid down some overall energies. Y'all, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, you have indecision. So it looks like you could be at a crossroads here. You have storm warning, which is the tower. So something has something unexpected has happened with somebody that you are emotionally involved with. This is somebody that you really care about. The man holding the heart is the king of cups. This is someone that you got emotions for, Capricorn. You yeah, you're 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 at a crossroads. I'm I'm you trying to make a decision about something because something unexpected happened here. So let's see. Let's clarify. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Why is indecision here for Capricorn? This is for the first week of October 2021. Oh, whenever you guys see this video, ooh, someone's feeling sad. I did see the three of swords look, I did, look like it wanted to come out. Why is indecision here? Okay, we have the Emperor. Why is indecision here for Capricorn? We have the Four of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So you've gotten some clarity. You've got some clarity here. You had to take a step back, possibly from a commitment, a marriage, because we have the Emperor here, could be dealing with the Aries, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is here. Um, universe has given you some clarity about a situation and and and, and um mm, could have had a tower moment here but you had to take a step back pray meditate on something okay give me some more information here about the emperor the four swords and the ace of swords we have the death card does something end with a scorpio what's going on capricorn we have the sun card something came to the light Something came to the... Okay, so you ended something and you started something new here. Is what I'm getting to. So, hmm, you guys could be dealing with somebody new. Maybe you cut something out of your life. Maybe... Okay, it looks like you could have been dealing with a... A twin, okay? Looks like you... Taking this, you've taken a step back, you've gotten some clarity on this person, and you've ended it. Looks like you've started a new passion and beginning here. With the strength card, the ace of wands, and the sun card. Looks like you're happy with this person too. But something unexpected went down here. Why is this the war storm warning here? <coughs> well, you feel that somebody is possibly holding back holding some secrets with the high priestess being here use your intuition because it's on high right now could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn like yourself or maybe this is you being very stable and grounded why is the king of pentacles here with the high priestess the ace of cups you in love with somebody here there's definitely new love coming in for you guys, too. Looks like I'm he I'm also hearing somebody wants a second chance here. Maybe something unexpected happened with the new person. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. We got a soulmate couple here. You're definitely in love with somebody, Capricorn, or somebody's in love with you. I see a new person here offering something stable, grounded. That could be you or the person that you are dealing with. Or someone secretly wants to offer you something. Someone, Somebody here could have a secret admirer, too, is what I'm hearing. But we got the Queen of Cups and the King. 
King of Cups here. Definitely a soulmate couple. Why is the Ace of Cups with the Queen of Cups? The Empress. Oh, wow. You've definitely started something new and creative here. You've started something new. We got the Empress and the Emperor here. I think someone is secretly wanting a second chance with you. This could be your soulmate, your twin flame. But somebody here is confused with the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Cups. You're definitely somebody's wish fulfillment. Oh my God, Capricorn, I see a lot of love here. You have a lot of love here for somebody. Somebody got a lot of love for you. Why is the King of Cups here? The man holding the heart. Why is the man holding the heart? Who is this person? Um, this is somebody that you're, you're feeling mentally stuck. You're feeling mentally stuck or you're not seeing things for what they really are with somebody that you got a lot of emotions for. I'm hearing this is somebody new for you because you've already ended something here. This is somebody new. The Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here with the King of Cups? We have the Queen of Pentacles. Here you are. We got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles. So, you think somebody here is juggling. You think somebody here is juggling. Whoever you're dealing with right now, Capricorn, is a soulmate connection here. Definitely got a soulmate connection here. But you're feeling some type of way about this person. You think somebody's juggling here. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The two of wands. Yep. You think somebody's juggling and you're at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads. And that was your overall energies. Some of you guys are definitely going to have options here. You're going to have options here, okay? Choose wisely. But somebody here is totally confused about a new person. Give me some more information about the two of pentacles and the two of wands. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. We got the ten of cups. And the three cups, but it's in the reverse. Did something come? Somebody's not happy right now. Um, somebody's not emotionally fulfilled. Maybe something came out about a third party here. Why is the three of cups and the ten of cups in the reverse? Maybe something came out about a third person here because somebody here got options and they're kind of confused. The five of swords, somebody here is not willing to play no game. Somebody here. Hmm. And then we have the four wands. This is stability. This could be a commitment. This could be a marriage. Why is the five of swords in the reverse? Five of swords in the reverse is the ten of swords. Wow. Why is the ten of swords? This is this is something over. This is something. Ten of swords. Yeah, there's a lot of changes going on here with the Wheel of Fortune here and the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is it's over. You know, you stabbed me in the back for the last time. Why is the Ten of Swords with the Will of, Will, Will of Fortune? Got two cards here. Temperance and the Fool. Somebody definitely wants a second chance here. Somebody's wanting to take a risk here too. Somebody's wanting to take a risk. The lovers. There's There could be a decision here that someone has to make between two people. Some of you guys definitely got a, a very strong bond with somebody new here, okay? With somebody new. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Somebody's wanting to come back towards you. Let's get a little bit more information. What is the outcome here? What is the outcome here? Give me an outcome here for Capricorn. What is the outcome here for Capricorn? What is the outcome here for Capricorn, guys? What is the outcome? The Tower, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. Damn. Something unexpected and is, 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 is has happened here. Because somebody's not emotionally fulfilled. Someone, someone is walking away from a situation and starting something new with the Ace of Pentacles. I see abundance here. I see money. I see a gift of money coming in. A new home, a new car, a new business. I see stability here coming towards you. Because you're walking away 
from something that's that's not really stable. Ten of Wands, something is very burdensome to you right now. You're burdened by something that's going on here. Could be a third party. Could be somebody's juggling someone here. Why is the... the give me some advice for Capricorn. What is the advice here for Capricorn, guys? What is the advice for Capricorn? Y'all got somebody new and y'all got somebody old coming back. Somebody here wants a second chance. Somebody, I, I see new and old. What's the advice? Ooh, okay, 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 okay. We'll take those and the ones that's turned over here. We'll take all of these. Someone here has been awakened about something. Something could be at a standstill because someone feels that somebody's juggling. We have justice here and the seven of wands. So you're very, you're putting down, you're standing up for what you believe in. You're putting down boundaries. You could be blocking somebody, but you're standing your ground on something. You want something to be very balanced here with the justice card being here. See the 10 of wands again, you're very burdened by something. You're very burdened by something. We got the magician, the 10 of pentacles. Y'all money gonna be looking good. And the nine of cups. There's somebody, you manifest to somebody that you're wanting to build here, build with here. You could want a family with this person or this person wants the stability here with you. You're definitely somebody's wish fulfillment with the nine of cups being here. I think the advice here is that you can manifest the things that you want, Capricorn, right at this time. You're definitely cutting something out and moving on. Because there's something that you're not trusting. There's something that you're not trusting. Um, wow. Give me some more. Give me some more advice for Capricorn, guys. Give me some more advice for Capricorn. More advice for Capricorn. There's something that you're definitely cutting out. You're definitely going to have new love coming in. There's a new beginning coming in here. And a reconciliation. I see a reconciliation. Give me some more advice. Oh, well, more, more information for Capricorn. Something is going to be a success here. And I'm also hearing at the end of the day, Capricorn, things are going to work out for you. Okay? I see success here with the Six of Wands. Yeah, I see you guys successfully moving on, possibly with a new person. Or you're going to, or some of y'all going to successfully move towards someone that's wanting to come in for a second chance too i see it's going to be a success for you but you need ooh, the seven of swords yeah some of you guys are going to be moving away from a cheat here a liar someone that that's scheming being sneaky backstabbing you you're moving away from somebody like this could be a gemini libra and aquarius doesn't have to be just saying could be a Leo, Sag, or an Aries. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have all the elements here. Okay. A little bit more advice, guys. A little bit more advice. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, something is over here, y'all, with somebody. You're going to take a step back. Pray and meditate. And then you're going to just move slowly, you know, when it comes to a relationship. But you, some of you guys are definitely ending something. Okay, Capricorn, this is what I have for you. If you guys resonate, please hit that like button, y'all. Please hit the like button. Especially if you're watching the video, just push that like button for me. I need to get my videos moving, okay? Alrighty, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.